Hi there, I'm USBC Director of Coaching, Steven Padilla. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the physical game today. And we're gonna step into the middle of the approach, which is really where uh, the arm swing takes place. Uh, so the stance and the start are gonna have a lot of what the beginning are, but the arm swing is really the direction the, the ball's gonna go, especially not throughout the swing, but at the release point. In terms of arm swing, we wanna be cognizant of a couple of things along the way. There's, a, there's several places that we can get affected by different parts of the arm swing that will change the direction that it's gonna go. And for the most part, we wanna consider that when we start, we want our arm swing and our direction to go directly toward our target as much as possible. Uh, that's gonna give us the best chance to have consistency and repeatability and not get off target or, or change the direction of our launch. One of the key factors for keeping the arm in the same direction is gonna be identifying the direction of the forearm. The forearm is gonna give us an indicator as to what direction the arm is gonna go, not just with the ball, but also the entire direction throughout the bicep and then pivoting off the shoulder in whatever direction we're, we're starting it. So the forearm direction in the downswing of the arm swing tends to stay straight up or in the same direction the bowling ball is pointed. If we see the forearm start to roll down or roll away from us, sometimes that will change the direction of the ball path. And anytime we change direction laterally, it becomes more difficult for us to repeat that shot after shot. We wanna keep things as simple and online as possible. So keep the forearm in line with the, the swing direction and the forearm tends to stay up in the stance and in the start, but throughout the arm swing, it'll eventually the downswing start pointing down to the floor. And then on the follow through and the extension will be again the direction in the direction of the ball path. Uh, another indicator for the direction of the arm swing would be the thumb position. And those that are using their thumb inside the ball I want to take note that when you change the direction of the thumb position, a lot of times you run the risk of changing exactly which swing direction you're going to be in. So if the thumb, for example, on the downswing rolls in toward the body, it places the ball in line or in the direction of the body um, and perhaps takes the ball path offline from the intended target. So the thumb position and the forearm position in the downswing will make a big difference in the arm swing direction as a whole. It also works the other way with the thumb position. If the thumb goes away from the body or out away from the, the, uh, the swing direction, it can change the arm swing shape and therefore change the ball's position in the top of the swing as well. Also change it coming down into the bottom of the swing at the release. So you wanna be cognizant, be aware of where the thumb position is relative to the forearm and all of that relative to the ball position leading straight into the downswing and through the follow through and extension. The overall path of the arm swing ideally would be straight from start to finish. So we wanna preset the arm swing, we wanna put it in position, we want our forearm and our thumb to stay along that path and ideally we keep the exact same swing shape from start to finish. Any deviation from those paths are gonna have some lateral movement and that's gonna cause uh, typically a direction a change will, will slow down the path of that swing uh, and it could possibly take us off target. Now, it doesn't mean that the swing has to be straight all the time. There are plenty of high-level players that swing the ball from start to finish and they have a small loop in the swing or perhaps they're tucking the ball in behind the back a little bit. Maybe the swing bumps out away from their body, but for the most part, there's consistency in that path from shot to shot, especially in the higher-level players. For the most part, when we talk about swing direction, straighter is greater, but if there's some deviation, as long as it's the same from shot to shot, uh, unless we're changing angles, then we're gonna be okay with our swing path and with our swing direction. What it all leads up to at the end of though is at the release point, we wanna see the same consistent follow through and extension. And by that, by the, at the bottom of our swing, when our arms swing to come up through the shot, we want typically our forearm and our thumb position to be the same going through the release point and extending all the way through the shot. And as a whole, when you see the same delivery, same release point in the same direction, our extension and our follow through will be the same speed and the same distance on the extension on the upswing whenever we get to the bottom. Uh, we're in our finished position and the arm comes up after the bottom of the swing. So as a whole, the arm swing has a lot of pieces to it. We want to keep it as straight as possible. And, as, and from start to finish, the straighter we can keep it on path and the less deviation we see by changing the ball direction from different parts of the, of the arm swing, the better off we're going to be in repeating the same shot and having the same uh, reaction and the same result each time we deliver the ball. So consider the arm swing, consider what can happen to it, and make sure that as you're practicing or as you're going through your routine that you keep things as straight as you can for the arm swing path. Uh, it's gonna make your game a lot stronger and hopefully knock down more pens.